This is question 17. Here I'm asked to solve x minus 1 all squared minus 2 times x minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0. So when I've got an equation with brackets, uh, generally speaking, the best thing to do is to expand those brackets and then simplify. So let's start doing this. Let's first of all deal with this first part, which is x minus 1 all squared. Now, x minus 1 all squared I can rewrite as being x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. So I can rewrite that as double brackets. So expanding this, now the way that I like to do this is by setting out a grid. So I'm going to be multiplying x minus 1 by x minus 1. So x multiplied by x will give me x squared x multiplied by negative 1 gives me negative x. Minus 1 multiplied by x also gives me negative x. And then negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 gives me positive 1. So collecting all of this together, this first part of my equation, and I'm just going to write this out underneath, is going to be x squared minus x minus x for minus 2x and then plus 1. So that's that first part of the equation dealt with. Now let's deal with this next part. Let's expand these brackets. So expanding, and for this one I've got negative 2 multiplied by x minus 1. So let's work this out. Negative 2 multiplied by x will give me minus 2x. And then negative 2 multiplied by negative 1, and that's going to give me positive 2. So let's write this down next to it, what I've written down here. So that first part, x minus 1 all squared, is x squared minus 2x plus 1. This second part that we've expanded is minus 2x plus 2. Be very careful there. I imagine that that could be the part at which people make mistakes, forgetting that when we multiply negative 2 by negative 1, that it gives us positive 2. And then on the end, we've just got that minus 3, and so that minus 3 can stay as it is, and that's equal to 0. So the next thing that I'm going to do here, I've expanded, um, I've expanded the brackets in my equation, Next thing I'm going to do is to just tidy this up. So let's simplify this um, and make it look a bit neater. So we'll collect the x squared together, which there is only one of. So x squared stays as it is. Then I've got minus 2x minus 2x. So that's going to give me negative 4x. So collecting those x's together. Then now let's collect the numbers together. I've got 1 plus 2, which is 3 minus 3, they are going to cancel each other out. So I've just got x squared minus 4x, and that is equal to 0. So I've got a quadratic equation. When I have a quadratic equation, I want to set it equal to 0 and then factorise. So it's already set equal to 0, so all that's left for me to do is to factorise. So let's factorise x squared minus 4x. That's going to give me x bracket x minus 4, which is equal to 0. Now, because I have factorised this, and I'm saying that x multiplied by x minus 4 equals 0, that means that either x must be equal to 0, or x minus 4 must be equal to 0. So I've already got one of my solutions, x is equal to 0. The other solution, I just need to solve this very simple equation, and I can say that x is equal to 4. So final answers, x equals 0 and x equals 4.